Hi, I'm Professor Floyd J. Winters. This Visual Basic lesson will show you how to build your first Visual Basic project, including a basic calculation. We're going to click New Project once we open Visual Basic, and we'll give it a name. And I'm going to click OK. And Visual Basic opens up, and we have a toolbox. I prefer to have my toolbox pegged, but you can unpeg it by clicking the peg button. We have a form, and we have our properties and solution explorer windows on the right side. I'm going to make my form a little bit larger by dragging the node in the right hand bottom corner. And we're going to start by giving our form a good name. We're going to start with the prefix FRM, and we'll call it Payroll Calculator, but without the space. And the title for that will be found in the text property, and we'll call it Payroll Calculator, and I'll even copyright it. Notice how our title appears on the top of our form by setting the text property. We'll add a label to the very top. I'll click the label from the toolbar and drag it. And the text for this will be Payroll Calculator. But we have to give it a name so we can distinguish everything. LBL will be the prefix, and we'll call it Payroll Calculator. But all of our objects and labels are objects should not have spaces in their names. I would like to make this payroll calculator a larger font, so we'll go to the font property, and we'll click on 16 point and bold and hit OK, and there it is. And it's not centered, I can drag it a little bit more and center it. Next, we'll add some labels for hours. I'll drag the label on there, and we'll call that LBL hours, and the text for that will be hours. And we'll drag another label on there and call that rate. The text will be rate. And the name will be LBL rate. And we'll drag a third one on, and that label will be called Pay. And the text will also be pay. We can line these up and space them by last seeing them and go into format align left and format vertical spacing make equal. And now they're spaced better. Now we'll add some text boxes. I'll click my text box tool, drag it over here, and text boxes do not need a text value because you're going to enter that later on, but we'll give it a name, TXT Hours. We'll add a second text box and call that TXT Rate. Now for our pay, I do not want my pay to look like a text box or to be a text box. So I'm going to make it a label, LBL Calc Pay, and I don't want to give it any text because it's going to be the result of a calculation. But notice when I don't give it text, it kind of disappears. I kind of last see that area, it's very small. I'll go to the auto size property and make that false and give it a border style and make that fixed single so we can see that it's different than the text box but it's not just a normal label. Finally, we'll add a button on the bottom here and the text will be calculate. And the name will be BTN. 
calculate. Oh, before I put the formula in there, let me just highlight these by lassoonum and go to font and make those all larger so we can see them easily. There we go. Now, make the calculate button a little bit larger. I'll grab these text boxes and make those a little bit larger. Maybe grab this and make it larger. There we go. Now, I'm going to double click on calculate and it brings me to the formula portion of my program. And I'm going to type in L, B. Notice how IntelliSense brings up the individual objects I've created. LBL calc pay dot text. I want the text of that to be equal to T X to be equal to text hours dot text times T X T text rate dot text. And there's my formula pay is equal to the value of the text of hours times the value of the text of rate. Now we're going to go back to our form design by clicking this tab right here. Looks pretty good. We'll run it. You can run it by tapping either F5 or hitting the run icon. I'm going to enter 40 hours and a rate of 10. Tap enter for my calculate button and I have 400. And it works. We'll close this out. Now we didn't validate this or format the input output. It's just a short intro assignment. But it gives you the basic idea. We now have to pay attention to how to save it. Notice if I close this out, it gives me a chance to save it. I'm going to save it in my VB folder and call it pay calculator and hit save. It's important you pay attention to where you save this at and I'll hit save. And there you have it, your first visual basic project with a simple calculation in a nutshell.